I send the circle of love to Robin Williams <laughs> and to all of you. <laughs> I'd like to start with a story. It's a story of an absolutely inspirational care clown. Her name is Mama Clown, and like most care clowns, she doesn't really have performance background. She just has a really big heart and a desire to be humankind, both. Mama Clown would visit the cancer wards, and since care clowns tend to be their best versions of themselves, she would embody her childlike self. And on this particular case, when she arrived at the cancer ward, instantly the nurse came running up to her and said, Mama Clown, Mama Clown, I'm so sorry, but I just need you to know, when you go to little Susie today, please, you've got to be sensitive. It's last days now. Now, most adults would deal with that in a very particular way, and thank, thank you, some of your facial expressions already said it. Mama Clown took it in, as a care clown would, and very gently knocked on the door, and little Susie nodded as a way of saying, please come in. Mama Clown sat down, because she could tell that today little Susie just needed a friend. And very soon, little Susie says, Mama Clown, what happens to you when you die? Now, adults again, we really can't deal with that. But little precious Mama Clown character of light goes, hmm, well, I don't know what happens to real people, <laughs> but I can tell you what happens to care clowns. <laughs> we go to care clown heaven and there the elephants fly and there is marshmallow trees <laughs> when you eat the marshmallows they make you laugh <laughs> that's my laugh I'm sorry <laughs> and little Susie for a moment just brightens up and that's it that is the extent of the interaction and little Susie says <sighs> Do you think I can go to Care Clown Heaven? Mama Clown says, absolutely. You know what? I'll tell you a little secret. If you've got a red nose, you can get in. In fact, I've got my face paint here. If you want, I can paint it your nose on. And of course, little Susie insists she has the red nose. That is how Mama Clown left little Susie. And three weeks later, when Mama Clown returned to the hospital, she had visited other hospitals, but she hadn't been there for a few sessions. The same nurse came running up to her and said, Mama Clown, what you did for little Susie was the most remarkable thing. Every single day, she insisted that she had her little red nose painted on. And the beauty of what you did even reached her parents, Mama Clown, because her parents said, I must tell you that when little Susie was buried, she was given a red nose. <sighs> the ripple effect of joy. 11 years ago, I was on my floor in my apartment in what I call drew despair. I cried so much, I drooled. And I didn't think there was any way out of that disparity. And then at the same time, I started hearing stories like Mama Clown. And I thought to myself, there has to be a way that we can bring love. That song, where is the love? It was getting radio play 11 years ago. We could all feel it. We were actually all asking the question. What I just felt was, is there any way that I could start to step up and be that shift? Everybody was like, you're crazy, Nicola. You cannot. You've got to sort out yourself before you can make a difference. I was like, no, what, wait, if, what if, if I can make a difference and then make a difference to myself? And so I started dressing up. And the song changed, and I give you this song as a gift today. Diagutanda, Diagutanda, 
Ndia gutanda, ndia gutanda I love you, kea korata I love you, ekhet yoli Care clowns are our best versions of ourselves. Care clowns have to learn to deal with that voice that goes, oh, what am I going to do? That little child's got that. And go, okay, that's there, and I'm going to let it go, and I'm going to choose. So I'm going to show you a little exercise that we do to redesign our thinking as care clowns. Everybody, please take your arms and fold your arms. Wow, some of you are naturals. Okay, good. So, please would you take a moment to just notice how you are folding your arms. Adults, please notice, I did not say look at your arms and judge yourself for folding your arms that way. Because this is what we do. We notice the pattern, throw on five million gazillion judgments, and then we have no ammunition to go any further. Okay, just look. Look. Let go and choose, try the opposite. It will twist your brain a bit, but it's okay. <laughs> Shake it off, try again, look, let go, choose. And try again, look, let go, choose. We do it as a wrap, we go L, L, C, <laughs> L, L, C. Try it, L, L, C, just say it. Good, now let's try it like a wrap, L, L, C. LLC. Fantastic. Give yourselves a round of applause. We didn't realize that actually 11 years ago, putting on little red noses, that we'd be creating a movement. There are over 65 care clowns now throughout South Africa. We are active in Cape Town and Gauteng. We uplift 3,500 children in seven hospitals. As a Yay. <laughs> <laughs> as a side project, it's for you, Dave. As a side project, we decided we wanted to do something for the world. This is a circle of love. When I get it moving, it is loving for me. It turns my body. Since the 1st of January, this is what I've been doing every single day, 15 minutes. Holy moly, I had no idea what it would be doing. Seven kilograms lighter, abs. <laughs> Can I say... Hashtag hula for love. This is what we're doing. We just say, guys, send us your minutes. You want to do something loving? Send us your loving minutes. We'll put those minutes into virtual kilometers and we'll create virtual circles of love around the world. We've created our first circle of love around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, 40,500 kilometers already. Yeah. <laughs> and I just added another minute. <laughs> One minute equals a kilometer. How simple. Just fun. The science of kindness can transform our world. Dr. Wayne Dyer said the most profound thing that they've discovered is, is that when we do a wee-wee, they can analyze our wee-wee and see if there is any serotonin in it. Now, serotonin, for those of you who don't know, is the neurotransmitter that makes your body feel good. So a lot of us, well, statistically speaking, there's going to be at least 50% of this audience on artificial ways of boosting that serotonin. That is what Prozac is, okay? So consider the most amazing thing. When they looked at people who had received kindness, so there's little Susie. The kindness that little Susie received, she had elevated levels of serotonin and a boost in her immune system. How's this? Mama clown, so anybody who gives the act of kindness, has exactly the same results. Now, the most awe-inspiring thing for me is that everybody who hears the story, so including all of you that were moved by that story, and anybody who sees that story has exactly the same results. So, why acts of random kindness? when we are humankind, surely we can actually hashtag arc. 
let's bring the ark back. Let's bring the arcs back. However you relate to God is your story, but I'll tell you something, that biblical story was an epic story because it saved humanity and saved beings. There are beings and humanity that need saving right now, ladies and gentlemen, and it could be a very simple thing. Hashtag ark. I'm not saying you have to be a care clown, but you're all welcome, we do plenty of training. I am saying step up, smile at strangers, let the guy in that's trying to turn into the traffic, do the acts of kindness and go one step further, tweet it, share it. Let's make sure we're all being affected by the absolute beauty and kindness of who we are, human kind. Be both. Ndia Gotanda, Gea Korata, I love you. <laughs>